I'm at the Manufacturing UK event here at Mazak in Worcester and I'm going to introduce Julia. Good morning Julia. Good morning. And morning. you're the Chief Executive of the uh, GTMA. Yes, which stands for the Gauge and Toolmakers Association, uh, representing engineering companies in the UK. Okay, and what about the history about the association? I'd be interested to know a bit more about that. Well, it's been formed uh, over 70 years uh, for the tool makers and gauge makers in the uh, UK. We've expanded that now into an engineering supply chain, which we now take into the OEMs and Tier 1 companies. Mainly this is in the aerospace, automotive, marine, energy, which covers you know, renewables, oil and gas, rail and marine and uh, we bring those buyers and suppliers together. And so what can we expect to see here today? Well here today we're looking at the automotive. As you know the automotive industry is very buoyant in the UK and it seemed a great opportunity to bring Jaguar Land Rover and all the uh, things that they're doing for industry and the manufacturing and the opportunities for the engineering supply chain as well as uh, Lawrence Davis from the UKTI, he's in charge of the automotive supply chain and we've got um, uh, Gerant from uh, Lotus Lightweight Structures. So it should be a very interesting day with the automotive industry and how it's high flying. You know, we, we export a lot through the automotive industry, so bringing real money into the UK. This is our European manufacturing plant and headquarters. And we have around 450 people engaged in production alone here. Um, and uh, we export around 85% of what we make here to continental Europe. And 15% or, or thereabouts stays within the UK. And 50% of the Mazak machines that are sold in Europe are made here in Worcester. Um, and in, in our last, uh, I don't know, 25 years or more than that now, we've made more than 25,000 machines here. I'm also going to touch upon the technology change. We also need to differentiate ourselves, not just in the product, but in the technology that's within the product. And I think JLR is quite well known for producing cars that are capable on-road and off-road, but we also need to move into an area where our production is clean. Environmental innovation is the new two words that have come into the company uh, just this year at JLR, and we're looking at that very seriously. <laughs> 